everyone, so today I am going to be doing kind of an update video, I guess. Basically last summer I did a video called Book Series I Will Not Be Continuing, and since then I have started and decided to not continue reading a lot of series. I believe I have 14 or 15 series right now that I have started, read a couple books, and I've decided not to continue. The majority of these I don't own anymore just simply because, again, I didn't like them and I'm not a person who keeps books that I don't like, um, but I figure I really like watching these videos because I feel like it kind of tells you maybe the first book was amazing but the rest of the series isn't great, but I don't know, I want to do an update video because I did do one of these over a year ago, so here we go. So the first series that I will not be continuing is the Sin Eater's Daughter series trilogy thing by Ber Melinda Salisbury. I read the first book in July, I think. I've gotten rid of it since then. Um, I It was fine. It was whatever. It was a 2 out of 5 stars for me because it is exactly the same as every other YA fantasy novel I've ever read ever. Um, so I just didn't feel like reading it, continuing it, because I could predict every single thing that was going to happen in the series just from the first book because it was the exact same as every other YA fantasy novel ever. Um, so it was like fine, it was a quick little read, but I won't be continuing the series. Number two is the study series by Ma Maria V. Snyder uh, that starts with the poison study and then magic study and then I think fire study because one, the first book was great. I actually really really enjoyed the first book but I knew from the ending that I wasn't gonna like the rest of the series so I put it off for ages to um, read. And then I finally tried the second book this summer, really did not like it, I, I should have stuck with my gut and been like, I'm not going to like where this is going, so I shouldn't have read it, but I did, didn't like it, but also, I can't stand when book series get extended, this book was, this it was supposed to be a trilogy, and then it suddenly has like a million more books to it, so I was like, nah, I'm good. Number three is The Wizard's Promise duology by Cassandra Rose Clark, which I'm very upset about. I absolutely loved her other duology, um, but I read this book this summer, just really did not like it. I was very, very let down, I was very disappointed, and I just don't really care that much to continue on. Um, I really love Cassandra Rose Clark, and I really highly suggest her other duology that starts with The Assassin's Curse um, and The Pirate's Wish. So I suggest those, but this one just, I don't, I don't care about it. Number four is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. I've talked about this plenty on my channel. I really enjoyed the first book, but from there it went very downhill very fast for me. I really, really hate the characters of that book. I really don't care about the plot. I really kind of hate everything about it. Selena was cool in the first book and then became the most Mary Sue character I've ever had to read about. And I was just done, so I won't be continuing the Throne of Glass series. And I also won't be continuing um, A Court of Mist and a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, which is, uh, I love these books, so I'm very sad to be saying I won't be continuing, um, but I'm so sick of Sarah J. Maas extending her series from, you know, two or three books to eight or ten or however many books are going to be in this freaking trilogy. Um, I really don't like when authors do that, especially because this would have been perfect as a trilogy and it's just really obvious that they're trying to make money. So I am not going to be supporting Sarah J. Maas anymore. Uh, I just, I don't feel like it. So I won't be continuing. Number six might come as a surprise, but that is the Eon duology. Uh, Eon was my favorite book of 2015 and it remains one of my, oh come on, go in. It remains one of my favorite novels, but... I put off reading this book for so long. It's been over a year and a half since I read Eon. I bought this book the second I finished Eon, and since I just simply cannot read it. I've tried picking it up so many times. It's a mixture of me being terrified to read it, but also I just don't want to. Like, Eon, I feel it could have been a standalone, so I'm sort of nervous about it being a duology. Um, this is definitely one, like, if I wanted to continue, I'd have to reread Eon. So maybe at some point, if I do reread Eon, I will continue. But at the moment, I have no desire to continue this duology, and I will just keep my love for the first book. Number seven, I'm not totally sure is going to have any more books to it. I'm just, I have no idea. But that is the Shadow of the Wind trilogy series. If it's a trilogy, that means it's done. But if it's a series, I will not be continuing anymore. Um, I loved The Shadow of the Wind. It is such an amazing book, 100% worth the hype if you were thinking about picking it up. It's so good. Uh, but the second and third book, I just really did not enjoy it all. 
Um, so if there's any more books in the series, I won't be reading them. Number eight is the Wolf by Wolf trilogy, duology, I'm not totally sure, by Ryan Grodden. Read this last year, it was my most anticipated book of the year, um, and I hated it. I really do not like Ryan Grodden or her writing style, not her, but I don't like her writing style. I find it kind of offensive how she writes um, book diverse books that take place in other countries, and it's just... It doesn't make this book German to put in Scheiße every once in a while. It doesn't make the walled city Chinese by putting wonton or li every once in a while. And that really, really angered me. Um, being German myself, I was just like, wow, um, if you hadn't put that Scheiße in, I wouldn't have known this is a German book at all. Um, and I just, I honestly didn't enjoy it that much. It was like fine, it was like whatever. But I just, not the biggest fan of how she writes her books diversely. Number nine is the Girl in 6E series trilogy, I believe. This is not one that I hated at all. I actually really enjoyed the first book, um, the beginning half. I think I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was a solid book, but it got weird at the end. I was like, where did this plot come from? Like, it was, I loved reading about her as a cam girl and her life and all of, like, her mentality kind of thing, which I actually find, I've heard most people think the beginning is really slow with all that. I'm like, that was the interesting part to me. Um, but when it got into, like, the mystery crime detective novel, I was like, I'm done. I don't, and so far what I've heard is the other books are much more crime mystery novels, which I just don't enjoy very often. Um, so I'm, I don't think I will be continuing that one. Number 10 is the Bronze Horseman trilogy. I read the first two books. I really enjoyed the first one. I'm not gonna lie and like say I didn't. I really enjoyed the first one. It took me forever to read because it's such a big book, but I really enjoyed it. Um, but then I read the second book and I just saw all of the problems that people had been talking about. Um, I tried not to let like other people's reviews and opinions sway me, but while I read that one, and we got to read from Alexander's point of view, and from there I just could not read it. I was like, he is disgusting, I hated him so much, um, and I just, I have no desire to pick up the third book, so I'm not going to. Number 11 is the Scorpion Rules Trilogy by Aaron Bow. Um, I read the first book in February, I think. Um, it was fine, it was like whatever, it was really weird, and I just, I got so lost, so I had no idea what was going on by the end, so uh, I just, I don't even think I could pick up the second book if I wanted to. Number 12 is the Seven Waters Trilogy. Um, I read the first book in January. Um, I liked the world and like the idea to it, but it was written in that like fairy tale esque kind of way, kind of like uprooted by Naomi Novik, which I had the same problems with. I can't read that writing style because I get so emotionally detached that I just don't care about the characters. Um, so I had the same problem with that one. The first book was like fine, it was whatever. Um, so, but it's a really long series, and I could not read that writing style for that much longer. Number 13 is the Queen of the Tearling series trilogy thing. Um, I read the first book, it was whatever, again, it was like every other YA fantasy ever. I've heard really, like, good things with the second book, but I honestly would have to reread the first one, and I just don't care to. Um, it was fun, it was like a quick little read, but I'm not gonna be continuing the series. And the 14th and final series I will not be continuing is the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy. This one was from a while ago. Um, I read the first book last summer, I think, and I immediately picked up the second book and like literally read the first two chapters and knew exactly where the entire series was going. I did end up looking up the ending to the series and I was 100% correct. Uh, so I just didn't feel like wasting my time in continuing reading that series. I think it's a really fun series if you never read YA fantasy before. Like, a lot of series, I feel like if it's your first YA fantasy, it would have been great. But after reading just tons of it, I'm so sick of it, I can't even tell you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear some series that you will not be continuing down in the comments below. Because, I don't know, I think it's always interesting hearing about series that people aren't continuing because like that means you finished the first book but that means you're not, but you don't want to go on and I think that's very interesting so tell me about your series that you're not going to continue down below anyways I love you all and I'll see y'all soon bye